Wi-Fi connectivity issues with the Bose Soundbar 900 are common, even with updated firmware. Here's how to systematically troubleshoot and fix these problems. Step one, ensure your soundbar is in setup mode. Look for an amber light on the soundbar. This indicates it's ready to connect to your network. Step two, reactivate Bluetooth on your mobile device. Your phone uses Bluetooth to initially connect the soundbar to your Wi-Fi network through the Bose Music app. Step three, verify your Wi-Fi network connection. Ensure your mobile device is connected to the same network you want the soundbar to use. This can be either 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz. Step four, double check your Wi-Fi password and temporarily disable mobile data. Incorrect passwords are a common cause of connection failures and mobile data can interfere with the setup process. Step five, power cycle both devices. Unplug your soundbar for 60 seconds and unplug your router for 30 seconds. This clears temporary connection issues and refreshes network settings. Step six, reinstall the Bose Music app and grant necessary permissions. The app needs location and local network access to properly connect your soundbar to Wi-Fi. If these steps don't resolve the issue, a factory reset may be necessary as a last resort. This will erase all settings and require complete reconfiguration, but often resolves persistent connectivity problems. When basic troubleshooting fails, advanced router configuration becomes essential. We'll explore critical network settings that can resolve persistent connectivity issues. First, ensure these three critical services are enabled in your router settings. UPnP allows automatic port configuration, multicast enables efficient data streaming, and IGMP manages group communications. IGMP snooping should be disabled as it can interfere with soundbar connectivity. This diagram shows how snooping affects multicast traffic flow. Disabling it ensures proper data delivery. Configure your Wi-Fi radio mode to mixed or BG N for maximum compatibility. Different wireless standards have varying capabilities. The soundbar works best with these mixed mode settings. WPA2 with AES encryption provides secure authentication through a four-way handshake process. This ensures your soundbar connects safely while maintaining optimal performance. For dual band routers, use distinct network names for your 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz bands. This prevents connection confusion and allows you to choose the optimal frequency for your soundbar. When Wi-Fi solutions fail, alternative connection methods can provide reliable audio. Optical cables offer a direct interference-free connection as a backup to HDMI ARC. Wireless interference significantly impacts connectivity. This house diagram shows how signal strength varies by location and how other devices can create dead zones. Position your soundbar away from microwaves and other interference sources. These advanced settings address the most common connectivity challenges. Start with router configuration, then try alternative connections if needed. Most users find success with proper multicast settings and fixed channel selection. 